Hello, welcome back to second Mavros Python tutorial from PX4. Uh, in this video, we will be continuing the last video with uh, checking if Mavros is installed and where it is uh, the location if we want to have any configurations. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we will implement a sample mission uh, with JMAF sim uh, simulation environment. So let's start and see uh, where our Mavros is. Uh, we will uh, open two terminals. I'll open two terminals and I will uh, start by uh, Debian packages on the left side. Uh, let's see if we can find them or not. We said that they are in opt ROS and then Melody can then share. If I get the directories here and if I have it on the left side, you can see as we come up on the left side, yes, Mavros packages are here. Uh, if, if we go to CD and then Mavros, uh, we can see uh, these files here. One of them is this launch folder that later on we will be coming back to it and I will tell you what to do. Uh, by the way, I'm using terminal environment here because uh, all of you may not be implementing and using Mavros on a computer and you may not have uh, access to a display for it but only command line interface so till here everything is common but when we go to simulation yes that one everything we will be doing as an interface uh, so on the right side i will go to the catkin environment that we had installed our mavros and uh, i will see if uh, i have my uh, mavros or not uh, i'll go to mavros folder and then i open mavros folder yes uh, everything is here you can see that mavros messages mavros extras and much more uh, if you add uh, that dependencies uh, option while installing mavros as well many other useful folders uh, many other useful packages let's say uh, it's gonna be added to this directory so you can use them for uh, development uh, so the, everything is here and uh, how, how to launch Mavros uh, for this I will use these uh, tutorials uh, on px4 documentations page you can easily again search them like uh, Ross with gazebo simulation or you can search with uh, gazebo simulation no difference the simulation environments are different uh, here we have the tutorial on gazebo but interfacing to ROS is the same launching Mavros is the same thing so I will continue with this ROS with gazebo simulation uh, assuming that you have the dev environment installed and uh, you know how to we have we have a complete video about it on YouTube channel uh, how to install uh, development environment so I will not go through that uh, part for now uh, okay what we will do I will just copy and paste this command line and I will tell you what what is happening uh, let me be in my root folder and then I will launch this on the right side and uh, it will take a bit of time maybe yes uh, now we can see that our Mavros has started but it's not connecting to any flight controller. So the idea here is Mavros is waiting for your flight stack, either simulation wise in SITL environment or a physical flight controller connected to the computer. What I did here, let me show you what is happening here. Uh, we, we are assuming we are, let's say we are defining an option here for launching our Mavros. We are saying that we want to connect to this uh, UDP channel and this UDP channel, if you pay attention carefully, this is our local host, which is the same computer I'm going to be uh, doing the simulation. If you're going to be connecting your Mavros to another flight stack or another computer somewhere else on your local network, you can connect it via IP. How to find out if you, uh, how you can connect it, you can easily go to GitHub Mavros and then you can uh, come here and then as you open go down go to Mavros package readme 
and here connection URL all the options we have available how to connect you can either define this while you're writing your roast launch each time or you can come to your launch files uh, let's let's go to our launch files and uh, see if we can find our launch file or not uh, here on Mavros and then I will go to Mavros folder again and again on launch okay I have some folders here uh, th th these two are for uh, are the pilot users uh, we, we need these px for once uh, we have one px for dot launch which is our launch file I'll open it and we have one co configuration file here so this one on right side and the other one I put it on the left side okay you can see that our FCU URL uh, which means which FCU you are connected to what is your ground control station URL and other configurations we need here we have our options for Mavros for example let's say heartbeat rate timeout time sync all of these when on the rooms or anywhere you saw them this these configurations are all here uh, the, these these are like uh, too too many configuration parameters you have to go through them yourself and you'll find it out it's uh, not a big deal uh, so uh, now now we know what is happening and what we are launching uh, but there is one important note here that by default, our FCU URL is a serial connection. Uh, we have defined that UDP port, so we're gonna be connecting to a uh, to a SITL environment. Let's see. What I'll do now, I will go to our uh, PX4 firmware environment. Let me find it here. Yes, uh, I will be going to firmware, and then here I will have. x4 sitl default and then i want to start it with jmfc okay now px4 is started and uh, you can see jmfc uh, here on this screen and you can see that gps checks are being done and soon we will have gps uh, fusion as well how to go to jmf sim you can easily go to github and find them and here everything has been mentioned how to install jmf sim if you want to do it separately and uh, if you want to develop it and what are the options in the environment so uh, we will be coming back to our environment simulation environment and here i will be running mavros Okay, now you can see this partner IP appeared for our Mavlink and Mavros is listening to some uh, hardware-wise uh, flight controller. Uh, and we have uh, mission receive, let's say. So we, we have some communication going on. Uh, what I will do, I will open another terminal and uh, I will have uh, RQT. So graphically, we're going to see. Uh, what is happening yep uh, you, you can see here the topics on the left side all of them you'll just uh, simply uh, subscribe to these topics and we can see the uh, what is what is inside for example if I want to have this global position I will just subscribe to it and this is the bandwidth data is coming all of these can be done by command line uh, but on RQT, I want to I want it to be fast, so I'm doing it here in a graphical manner. So this is about our Mavros, which is uh, running, and our topics are there. Okay, the next step is to have our mission being run. How to control that? Uh, we have to we have to open Q ground control uh, first so let me do that so how to monitor our mission we have to open Q ground control okay now my Q ground control is on if I can find a way to occupy all of these windows on a 
a screen okay the next is we need to uh, implement a mission how to do it i will be going to the px4 firmware and here we have our integration tests and then we have python source and then we go to mavros yes here we have one mission test dot python and we have a missions folder i'll tell you in a while what these are let's go briefly uh, on this uh, code i will not go into details uh, so quickly you will get what this code is about all these headers you are familiar with i hope uh we'll go with the rest yes this is the important part that we have uh here our mission file if you want to have a mission is being read and then after that we'll uh, be having our mission file as a json data uh technically if you see here the mission files for example for multicopter uh mission here we have dictionary objects so same thing is being read and implemented as mission okay next uh, we will have our uh, waypoints v behavior uh, like this guy here and then this guy here and then after that we will have our test method which the mission starts and specifically here we have some exceptions for VTOLs as well and then we have our uh, node started here on the bottom side so this is the uh, this is the python uh, let's say test code mission test code you can get an idea from this and then you can implement your own needed code if you want to run a mission okay let's let's see let's test this and see what is happening okay let me have a uh, mission run now I will go to this location and I will open a terminal so we had that test mission file uh, I will just have that file here run and I will just copy and paste one of these missions names uh, here since we have our simulation with a quadcopter I will copy this a multicopter mission box plan this this plan can be whatever the file you define in that dictionary format so let's start and see what is gonna be happening I will zoom here on our Q ground control okay you can see that takeoff is detected both on Mavros and on uh, PX4 uh, simulation environment and now we have our mission on Q ground control the file was a box and uh, it is going as a box the waypoints are same as that you can easily see the whole uh, simulation and uh, and uh, live logging from Mavros and then we have to have our landing and the the uh, and that that's it that that was a simple mission and at the end our mission is cleared because we had defined this in our code and the log has been written ready for us uh, here if we refresh we can have our log here on october yes october 19 uh, which i'm recording this video uh so th th this this was all uh if uh, you had any other questions issues uh all of these you can bring it up on px4 from or on a slack and uh, we will be uh, happy to answer you regarding any problems related to mavros uh, if it's related to mavros post it on ross channel uh, if it's something general post it on a uh, general channel on a slack and any specific subjects accordingly thank you for listening and i hope you stay safe